Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a flip through of my A5 agenda and I also have a small cloth and paper haul to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. So from cloth and paper, I picked up a couple of things to complete the setup of my A5 agenda. The first thing I saw when I opened up my box was my receipt along with two freebies. I always really love the journaling cards from Cloth and Paper. This one says, the harder you work, the luckier you'll get. I picked up this pen. I've been looking for something to write on my transparent sticky notes with and I heard really good things about this one. And then I picked up the new uh, monthly cover pages. They are vellum and I really like them a lot. It's probably my favorite thing from this order. I love how they're so minimal, but they also have a nice motivational quote on them. So I really love those. And then I picked up these three dashboards. I already have these first two in other planners. So I got duplicates for my A5 because I love them so much. And then I got this one, which I thought would be perfect for my A5 since it's my creative planner. The last two things that I picked up were these frosted pockets. I got the top loading credit card pocket holder and I got the larger pocket, uh, which I'm really excited to use for mood boards and stuff like that. Now I'm going to add everything into the front of my agenda. My cover is from Xkey Creation. A lot of my inserts and dashboards are all from cloth and paper. Um, my inserts are from Infinite Lotus. So yeah, now I'm just adding in the dashboards that I got and the frosted pockets and also all of the monthly cover pages that I got from cloth and paper. So my A5 agenda is going to be my content planner for this year. Um, I needed something separate from my personal agenda, which is my A6 planner. Um, I just needed a bigger space. I needed a lot more room to write down all of my ideas. My main focus this year is my blog. I've been spending less time on Instagram and here on YouTube so that I can produce a lot more content and write more blog posts on my website. I really want to work on growing that this year, so my A5 has been perfect for that. Here I'm just adding in my favorite stickers from Infinite Lotus and some of my favorite page flags which are from Top Paper Co. I have codes for both shops. I'll list them here on the screen or in the description if you want to shop. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip through my entire A5 setup. Um, this paper clip is from Lucy Plans Life. The task cards are from Poi and Hun, and I have page flags on my to-do task card. Those page flags are from Cloth and Paper. This croc agenda from Xkey Creation has a couple of card slots in the front, a secretarial pocket, and a zipper pouch. First thing I have is this flyleaf and this adhesive pocket with a freebie card. Both of those are from Amazon. The freebie card is from Top Paper Co. And then my inbox is from Cloth and Paper. All of these dashboards I showed you in the beginning of the video, they are from Cloth and Paper. Stickers, Infinite Lotus, Page Flags, Top Paper Co. This is a freebie from my Minimal Planner on Instagram. Check her out. She's coming out with a website. I love that freebie. I printed it on vellum and then layered it with this um, card that I printed on Microsoft Word. Another dashboard by Cloth and Paper. In this frosted pocket, I just made a collage of some of the freebies I got, some of my journaling cards, and some of my favorite stickers. And then this last one is also cloth and paper. Basically, the only thing I carry in this agenda is monthly and weekly inserts, so I only needed 
the monthly dividers. Those are from Cloth and Paper. I started off each month with this monthly cover page from Cloth and Paper. And then my monthly inserts are from Infinite Lotus. Here's a peek of my January spread and how I've been planning for my blog, my YouTube. Um, and I've just been writing down a list of ideas on the back page, my top three priorities for the month. And then this is my weekly agenda. On the front page, I wrote down one of my favorite Bible verses. Here's a peek of how I've been planning every week. I got the vertical weeklies. They're aligned and they're also dated. These are also from Infinite Lotus, same as my monthly inserts. So this is basically what my weeklies have been looking like. I love the vertical weeklies. I love how much room there is. Um... And yeah, I just have a lot of space to write down ideas for my blog, YouTube, Instagram, reward style, all of my social medias. So I've been really enjoying it. Here is what a blank month would look like. Last month, I was using a lot of whiteout because things were just constantly changing in my schedule. So I started doing this. I started using these transparent page flags from cloth and paper with this pen and then this way I can easily move things around in my schedule if I need to and then once things are finally set in stone once uh, blog posts are published and videos are published that's when I would write things in pen on my inserts this is what the back page of the monthly overviews look like you have your top three important dates and bucket list. This is what the front page of the vertical weeklies look like. Very, very minimal. Like I mentioned earlier, I got the lined version and they are dated. You can get them undated. You can get the printable version. Um, you can also get them separate. So the weeklies come separate and the monthlies come separate. In the memo section, I've just been putting um, my vellum sticky notes from Top Paper Co. And here's a look at every monthly cover page. Um, again, these are from Cloth and Paper. I love the thick vellum material that they're printed on. I am obsessed with them. I also love anything motivational. So these are perfect for this agenda because they just remind me of my goals and they help inspire me and yeah, just encourage me to stay on track with all of my goals for this year. This is what the back of my agenda looks like. There's a large pocket, two card slots, and a pen loop. So that's basically it for the flip through. I am obsessed with this agenda. I've always wanted a croc agenda and I'm so happy to finally have one. So yeah, that's my flip through. But before I go, I wanted to share something that I created for you guys. I shared this earlier this month on Instagram, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, I basically created these free printables for you guys, I release them on my website. If you want them, all you have to do is go to the link in the description, type in your email address, and they'll be sent straight to your email inbox. I really hope you guys enjoyed them. Tag me on Instagram if you use them in your planners. I would love to see what you guys create with them. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul and the flip through of my agenda and my little announcement on my journaling cards. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.